Blog Talk Radio.
Yes. Now in John 1 and 10, scripture reads, He was in the world and the world was made by Him. Yes. So the same Jehovah God of the Old Testament is the same Jesus Christ of the New Testament. Again, that's why I'm Jesus only. And I know you are too. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. In Malachi, the third chapter, verse 6. And I want to kind of jump into John, the fourth chapter. And uh, again, we have to come into a full understanding that uh, John, the fifth chapter, I'm more connected with. Uh, when the word of God goes forward, it's not to be changed or altered or tried to be influenced in any other way other than way the scripture has given for the purpose of divine understanding. The Bible is not to be changed. Amen. Yes. The Bible is not to be incorrectly interpreted. The Bible must be a book that God uses for a stable factor in the governing and controlling of humanity. When you start trying to add on or compromise a scripture, the Bible loses its divine value. God's word is all we have to give us an, an enlightenment as to the will of God. Amen. Now keep in mind, church, the divine creator made us and gave us a freedom of spirit within us to choose any direction we choose to go. I've said many times, you can leave out of here tonight and go to the liquor store and buy your bottle of liquor if you choose to. Amen. God ain't gonna stop you. But he gives you an instruction not to do this. Amen. Because first of all, it's contrary to the word of God. Yeah. Anytime you go into some type of intoxicant, it gives you a false euphoria it makes you feel like you're happy when in reality you ain't happy at all. Yeah, if you right was happy, you wouldn't need no yeah. nothing false. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the word comes to give us a perfect direction in which we are to follow. Now, again, in uh, uh, John, or rather Malachi three and six verse. For I am the Lord; I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now. The Bible said, I'm the Lord, I change not. Again, God is the revealed, or rather the Bible is the revealed word of God yes. that comes to humanity to give humanity a knowledge into his will. God will do his perfect will. Yes. But humanity must be able to follow the will of God that they can be in tune or in line with the divine creator so that blessings can flow. Not only blessings, but God spoke of a heavenly reward for all who would follow after him. Amen. In Revelation 22 and 12, very quick, and then I'll be going to jump into John 5th chapter. Malachi 20, 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly. Now God mentioned that there's going to come a time when he comes quickly. Now that word quickly literally means surely. Amen. Uh -huh. 
and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I have shared before they have twisted the gospel in so many diverse ways until actually speaking, you've got preachers who will take that passage of scripture, and I've shared this before, where they are teaching that there is a reward in heaven if you do evil and another reward for them in heaven to do right. But what, right. Would, what, would he, what is heaven all about? That's right, Prophet. Heaven is about the faithful who have purpose in their heart to follow after God. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but they that do the will of my Father. So we have to understand that the Word of God is being compromised now as never before. So if we purpose in our heart to follow after God, then blessings are going to overtake us, because the Bible says so, Amen. if you believe. Now, belief can be contaminated by a negative force. Y'all listen close. Amen. Whenever you believe in God, you don't allow for natural conditions in your life to have a dominant factor. Though they are present, they are there. You, you can't say, I don't have a disconnect if you do. <laughs> because they don't no change you not having a disconnect. But the point I'm trying to bring out, if you've got a disconnect, by you not trusting in God, is not going to change the fact that you've got a disconnect. So the only thing that you can do is trust in God to see how God is going to get you out of the condition right. that you're in with the disconnect. Yeah. Right. To get mad at God and say, God, you allow this to happen. It's not that God allowed it to happen. God allowed for humanity to be in an environment where humanity is, is really, they don't know how to control or govern themselves. The people at the top rule those who are at the bottom. So it was necessary for God to always send a deliverer, which is a ray of hope to them who have no hope. So when God sends a spiritual leader to the people, the people got to follow that leader because you can't follow any other course of direction unless you're at the top. Amen. If you're at the top, you're going to need good for a while, but pretty soon when it comes time for you to cash in, then all that you have accomplished while you're at the top don't mean two cents when you stand for the judgment for that. So we have to understand, we got to give it all to Jesus. Amen. And when you're in a condition that you know you can't get yourself out of, God can get you out of that condition. Amen. So you have to have a mental understanding. I've got to worship God and be happy in my continence yes. because worry is not going to solve one problem. Yes. Worry will not pay that bill. Worry will not get me a better job. Right. Worry will not fire that evil supervisor. Amen. So what i got to do is trust in God. Because if I leave with God for this family, and that's in my understanding, yeah. God will work it out. Amen. But we got to learn how to lean on God. Now, get me uh, John, 5th chapter. Jump right in the book, verse 43. And I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. Now, Jesus is speaking on an earthly plane. He said, I come in my Father's name. His Father's name in the proper context is uh, Jehovah. Amen. Now, Jesus is the Hebrew word, or rather the Greek word for the Hebrew word Yeshua, Amen. which means Jehovah Savior. Amen. So we know without any question, Jesus is referring to uh, the fact that he's in the earthly plane as the Son of God. So he's referring actually to the divine essence in which he already is. All right. I am coming my father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him he will. Now he's coming in the name of Yeshua, but they still won't receive him. But he says, if another come in his own name, in other words, if somebody else mm -hmm. preaches uh, in the name of God, but using his own sense of direction, mm -hmm. then you will receive him. Mm -hmm. Case in point. How many follow T.D. Jakes? Right, How right, many right. follow Joyce Meyer? They're coming in their own name. They're not. Right. Right. They be, can't be coming in the name of God because if they did, they would teach you the same thing we teach in that true life. Right. Right. So we know they're not coming in the name of God. How many people in that church wear sisters wear veil covering? How many sisters in their church go with a face clean? How many sisters in their church don't slip out the side door and put their pants back on? Amen. So we know that they are not coming in the name of Jesus because Jesus forbid all of that. So, brothers and sisters, we have to understand, you got two churches. One is a false church, one is a true church. Amen. you got to know how or what is the true church. 
and you can't know which is the true church if somebody keeps changing the word of God. Right. So that's why we open up Jesus and say, I change not. I'm the Lord. In other words, I'm the divine authority. And I change not. In other words, don't change my word. Right. The Bible is the living word of God. Yes. I read. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek You not? honor T.D. Jakes and Joyce Miles yes. and Kenneth Copeland, but you don't honor God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I had a person email me the other day. Yeah, it, it, it's pitiful. Yeah. It said, uh, I, I said, first of all, don't write me if you can't address me as proper. That's right, Amen. Amen. Don't write me. Mm -hmm. She said, well, in my church, we don't, we, we don't believe. We call everybody brother and everybody sister. I said, well, that's in your church. I said, but if you're going to write me Amen. and true like, I said, you've got to honor me as proper. Amen. Well, 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 we're not supposed to do that. I said, maybe you better turn to Galatians, third chapter. That's right. I believe it's around because somewhere in Galatians, is it? Uh, what do you say? Uh, or is it Ephesians? Ephesians. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are gifts uh, to edify the church. Yeah. Some are called to be prophets. Yeah. Some teachers. Yeah. Some pastors. Yeah. Some evangelists. That's right. That, is that the word of God? That's the word of God. Yeah. I want y'all to catch the latter part of that. Read that. Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles. Some and apostles. Some prophets. And some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Wait, now I want I want you I want help to here a minute. Now he gave this, but now we are gonna find out why he gave this. Uh huh. For the perfecting of the saints. Amen. For the perfecting of the saints. Or for the perfecting of the church. That's right. Now if this were not if you're not supposed to use this in the context, then how is the saints or the church going to be perfected? That's right, prophet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So you got people reading the Bible, but they don't know what they're reading. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I say again, the confusion you got in Christianity, you got too many people saying what thus said the Lord, and the Lord ain't spoken to them That's at right. all. So uh, now, now get me uh, uh, the fifth chapter, I mean John the fourth chapter. And, and jump right in at verse 49. We're going to see how important the word is. Amen. Verse 49. The noble man said unto him, Sir, come the down. The rich man said unto Jesus, Sir, come down ere my child die. In other words, the child was dying, but if you come now, everything's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. I said before, when you get in trouble, you got to know where to go to get out of the trouble. But if there is a spirit of doubt, or if there's some kind of unhappiness in you, you automatically got a spirit of doubt. In church, I can't emphasize this more than what I'm doing. When you got a spirit of doubt, you cannot have faith. Amen. And you cannot receive something positive from God. Because God has made this faith principle on purpose so that it cannot... There is no way you can twist or, or, or uh, negate around the faith principle. Either you believe or you don't believe. Amen. It's not, praise God, I said before, you ain't never, you never seen a woman who's almost pregnant. Mm -hmm. hey, she either pregnant or she's not pregnant. Amen. So I'm saying, either you believe or you don't Amen. believe. There's no way you can get around it. Amen. Now read that again. The noble man said unto him, Sir, come down ere my child dies. If you come to my place, pray Lord, uh, uh, everything's going to be all right. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. Now, Jesus told the nobleman, Go ahead. Everything is all right. Your son is well. He's here. Now wait, watch. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. The man believed the word God spoke. Amen. When you believe the Bible, yeah. you believe the Word of God. Amen. And if you believe the Word of God, what are you worried about? Amen. What are you fearful about? What are you doubting about? Yeah. If you believe the Word of God, you got to go out and stand on the Word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, you know, man, he said he believed on the Word of God. Now, what if he had not believed? Amen. That child would have died. Amen. Amen. But he believed. And then he went on his way. He didn't hesitate. He went on his way. Future uh, passage of Scripture tells us, when he got near the door, the servant ran. He said, Yo, child living. Praise God. And he said, What hour? I think he said, The level hour. That was the same hour God spoke to him the day before. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, when you believe the word of God, it will let you know everything is all right, but you've got to plant your feet and believe it. Now, faith is not based on any type of circumstance that you create within yourself other than I believe. 
trying to show you something here. If you don't have nothing in your pocket and you believe God to make a way for you, God will make a way for you. And you can't stop looking at, well, how's he going to make a way and I ain't got no job? How's he going to make a way and everything is coming against me? How can I, how's he going to make a way? I don't know how he's going to make a way, but I know one thing, if you believe he's going to make a way. Right. Right. He's done, done it too many times before. Amen. And if you trust him yes. and yes. think yes. the Bible testimony, he never fail. Yes. If God promises you something, he'll give it to you. Yes. But you got to learn how to wait on the Lord and I read the scripture and be a good courage. In other words, if you're waiting on God, oh, I wonder if it's going to come. I don't know. It don't look like it. Well, if it don't look like it, it ain't likely to come. But what you got to say, I know it's coming. I, 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 I can feel it. I can feel it down inside. It's coming. Long enough, and often up, something is going to happen. Yeah. I've seen some miracles in true life that nobody would believe. Amen. I've seen doors open, yes. and there was no way for a person to get a job. Amen. It's impossible. But when God decided to open up a door, and I prayed, That's and I stood flat footed on yes. the word. That's right, Pastor. Now, under the circumstances, might have a record of this, that. No way you don't get a job. But Lord, I say I'm standing on your word. Yeah. And you open up the door to nobody first. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. Nobody told me to get it. Nobody told me to go. Hallelujah. And God ain't gonna call it unless somebody disbelieve. Yeah. But if you believe, hallelujah, and stand on the word of God, the devil cannot hold that door. Right, right, the devil right. cannot take a blessing God gives you unless right. you give it to the devil. Right, you right, gotta right. walk the devil. Amen. Amen. How do you do it? By the spirit of unbelief. And disobedience. Amen. So when you disobey God, it automatically proves you you, you you don't believe in the first place because you really believe you're you going to obey God. Amen. I'm not talking about every now and then make a mistake. Yeah. But when you make a mistake, you tell God, I'm sorry. Amen. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. And I tell you before, repentance is one of the greatest uh, points or principles of points yeah. that God ever taught. Yeah. And this is what I got to, I want to get across tonight. If you did something you feel that you can't never be saved for, you tell the devil you're a lying Jesus. Right. 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 All of you, all, everything that happened to Calvary was to forgive you of your trespasses. Amen. Amen. And, and, and James, the fifth chapter, gives it a further insurance because it tells you if you have committed a willful sin, yes. if you go to the elder of the church and they shall anoint you with all and pray the prayer of faith, and if you have committed sin, it shall be forgiven you. That's the word of God. Amen. That's another insurance plan. God gives you humanity to let you know, I'm not going to forsake you. I'm yeah. not going to take you this far and drop you by the wayside because maybe you're not as strong as you should be. As long as you keep getting up, when you get knocked down, God will keep blessing you. Hallelujah. And every time you say, Lord, forgive me, I'm ready to get back in the race. God will pick you back up again. Yeah. But God will not pick you back up if you keep on the lay down. Amen. Come on, he said, get up. Uh -huh. right, he said, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Don't let the devil set no trap for you. That's right, Bob. And you think that you're not saved, or you think that you can't be blessed, or you yeah. think yeah. God won't forgive you, yeah. God will already forgive you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So don't look back at the past. This is why he said, old things are passed away. That's right, Prophet. Behold, all things are what? New. New. All things are new. But you've got to believe that everything is brand new in your life. And this is why when we come to church, we praise God. Because when you praise God, you feel something lifting. Yeah. Praise God. Now, come to church tonight. People really want to get into it. But when the voices of heaven song, praise God. People start getting happy. Yeah. Then the uh, uh, nine voices nine song. You got half the earth. So if you're creating the, the euphoria that you need to have the spiritual connection. It's not about numbers. It's about the content of your heart. If your heart is receptive to the word of God and God understands his wisdom. Oh God's too smart. You know sometimes when you come to church, 
you, you, you really don't feel like it, but you, you should. So that's why you begin to praise him. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. And worship him. Amen. And pretty soon you start clapping your hands. Praise God, you start feeling good. And when you start feeling good, how the spirit takes hold. And when the spirit begins to take hold, it connects to the divine spirit. And when you got the two spirits coming together, Hallelujah. Oh, you got joy, peace, yes. the test, yes. you got happiness, yes. but you ain't got no business happy. But God said, I'll give you a peace that's better than the I'll give you a peace when you ain't got no big peace in I'll give you a happiness when you ain't got no business being happy. I'll give you a joy when you ain't supposed to be joyful. I'll be right to do this for you, but you got to be caught in the spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. You got to turn this thing loose. Yes. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, Lord. Yes. The psalmist said, make a joyful Lord. noise Lord. unto the Lord. Lord. When you start making a joyful noise unto yes. God, Hallelujah. you'll still sure feel something lifting up off of you. You'll start getting happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. 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 Yes. About what you were talking about. <laughs> now you can pick it back up when you walk out the oh, door. Oh no. But while you're inside, yeah. you can pick about what you're talking about. And God get happy. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. This thing works. Yes, it does. God is real. Yes. His word is real. Mm. We have to believe it. Yes. And though you go through your tests and trials, yes. and some of you going through some show of fire, but like the Hebrew boys, Amen. if you look over your shoulder, God will be right there with you through the fire. And, and, and the Hebrew says, now the hair on their head was burning the sin. Amen. That's right. Right. That's Nothing. Burning. Nothing. And when they walked out, their clothes didn't even smell. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wasn't no smoke over it. No. God was with them. Amen. And God was with them. Now I see y'all in detail, but I know it's a true story. Amen. It's a true story. Yeah. Oh, look at me in the Bible. Amen. Amen. And God puts these stories in the book to let you know I got power and I'll give that power to you if you believe. Amen. That may not be the same context, but it's really, uh, how can I put it? It's the same uh, 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 story, but in a different context. Yeah. Your fiery furnace may not be what the Hebrews uh, went through, but it's still a fiery furnace. Can y'all say amen? Amen. amen. If you ain't been through the fire of furnace, hold on to where I'm going. And you go through it. Oh, yes. But if you go through it, getting happy and trusting God. And a lot of people think, when I tell you this, uh, well, how am I going to be happy under these conditions? Happiness is an emotion that is created. That's right, Prophet. Same as unhappiness. Mm -hmm. My point being this. If being sorrowful and down Solve your problem. Does everybody get solved and down? Amen. All of us. And I'll go right on with you. <laughs> but since it ain't going to solve the problem, why not trust in God and get happy through the storm? What did you say? You said, wake up, Jesus. Sometimes you got to wake him up. And you wake him up by praising him and glorifying him and glorifying him. And when you do this, Hallelujah. Yes. The connection is easy to make and easier to maintain. Amen. But we have to learn, brothers and sisters, how to keep a relationship positive with God. And Jesus gave that teaching. If I teach you of earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I teach you heavenly things? Yes. In other words, if you can't relate to God in the natural Ain't no sense you trying to relate to God in the spiritual. That's right. So now the spirit man dominates not the natural man. But even though the spirit dominates the natural man, you still in the natural. That's right. And you stay in this natural body body to to the trump of God sounds. Amen. So while you in the natural body, you have to look on things spiritual and call things unseen as though they were. Amen. So I don't have my blessing. But I'm, I, I know it's coming. Amen. I know it's coming. Amen. I know it's coming. Amen. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. And it will come. No way I could foresee in the natural how we could accomplish what we accomplished with the shallow homes. Amen. And you drive by there and you look at the homes and, 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 and you look at the picture how it was before. Amen. And the devil said, man, I, I, you can't be serious. 
Can you judge him? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Donald Trump. Donald Trump performed a miracle. He took a little bit and made a whole lot. Amen. He took something small and made something big. Amen. What we have to do now, don't think and take things for granted. Amen. Always be thankful. Every time you walk in your salon, say thank you, Jesus. Right. And you look at it as if it is a mansion. Amen. Because it is your mansion. What? God gave it to you. Right, hallelujah. A penthouse. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Because God gave it to you. Amen. A gift from heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And the devil can't take it away from you. That's right. Hallelujah. Sister can't put you out. Sister can't put you out. No eviction notice. Word. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. I'll wait here. Till that train come. Amen. And I'll grab my suitcase. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Well, church, I, I tell you, I, I just feel happy in my soul. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm going to be good tonight. I want you to understand that all of us are going through something. Amen. But go through happy and rejoiceful. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, if you don't never go through nothing, you ain't gonna prove no faith. Mm -hmm. And you can't be you can't have no relationship with God. Amen. Anybody is cruising through this journey, he ain't got no relationship with God. Amen. Because if you got a identity with the kingdom, the devil is going to attack mm -hmm. you. That's right. But it all goes to create your worship and in your prayer life. Yes. If everything's going right on time, would nobody pray? Mm -hmm. yeah. But God knows how to sometimes mm -hmm. get on your knees. Amen. <laughs> you want to do it? Amen. <laughs> sometimes yeah, I, I, I never do it. I can't pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get so burdened, that you can't pray. Now you got a serious problem. Amen. Prayer is the only divine connection you have with the throne room of God. Amen. Don't stop praying. Amen. Don't stop meditating on the Lord. David meditated on the Lord all the time. And his mind and it was always in tune so that he could be receptive when God spoke. And if you keep your mind constantly on heavenly things, you won't have time to think about the worldly things. Because the worldly things don't mean you nothing, no way. That's right. That's why I said, forget about phone calls. Oh, amen. amen. Yeah. Right, Father. Yeah. And these distances alone. Mm -hmm. The only distance you worry about is. Time to it up. Man. We have blessings yet to come. And I'm here to tell you, they will come. If you hold on, don't quit. And don't give up. Amen. 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 Amen.